Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Gini Spaces in Databricks. We are going to see what they are, why do we use it, and how can we enable it and use it, and at what level of maturity it is right now. So let's move ahead. But again, before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn as well as on Instagram, and I will leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead. So when we talk about Gini Space, what exactly it is? So Databricks IQ has launched basically a interface. Now this is just an interface in the UI of the Databricks, which is a no-code interface. So if you are somebody from the business or you are a developer, usually it is used. Uh, it will be more useful for the business end users who can directly interact with the Databricks. assistant to analyze the data using the natural language so basically if i am a business user let's say i am from the um which domain should i pick up okay let's say i am from the uh, banking domain right and i have my data lying in the databricks catalogs right uh, in the catalog schemas and tables now in that case i can simply write a set of command and i can simply say count the number of active customers that i have count the valid bank accounts that i have so in that case i will get the output from the databricks iq genie space which is actually going to tell me okay these are the number of active customers these are the number of active bank accounts that a person has and i can also get a sql query with respect to what i have written so let's see how it is and you know how useful is it how useful is it because usefulness over here clearly depends upon the maturity level that it has so specifically for the genie spaces any domain experts uh, if you are coming from the ship if you are working in any shipping company if you are working in any insurance domain banking domain retail sector whatever the domain experts are they can uh, work with the genie spaces and you already have the data sets within the databricks you can directly query those data sets right if you have any business questions you can directly run them against the tables that you have so this is what genie space is all about so let's move ahead to our genie space so right now you can go ahead and check in your databricks workspace over here uh you can check you have something called as previews so if you click on preview you will land into this particular page where you have databricks assistant right databricks assistant is enabled by default so eventually whenever you have to write any comments or whenever you're writing code databricks ai assistant it is already there right and then the second option is genie spaces which you have to enable right you have to enable genie spaces and you can also see that it's it's in public preview right and uh, you can see no code experience for the business users powered by llm analyst setup spaces which business users can use to ask questions requires unity catalog and databricks assistant it does not have a documentation yet uh, but now once you enable this just refresh the page uh, that you have and you will see genie spaces on the left hand side so you can see that you have something called as genie spaces now if you click on that let me just uh, close the other tab now if you look at this genie space right now this is how exactly it looks like you can go ahead create a new space um in fact i have opened another databricks uh, tab over here let me go to the catalogs as well side by side so now you can see it says create a new space create a new space by giving it a name and define the you know which tables make sense so right now we're just going to say test and if you want to add a description you can add a description of the space as well right description of space now you can see which warehouse will it use because what 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 will eventually happen whenever you are going to write anything a warehouse will be used in the background so which warehouse you want to use you can just mark it here and then the catalog so this is one of the reason i opened it so let's go and quickly check what we have inside the catalog okay uh, let me check the main catalog over here we used it in our previous video so let's use this wine one so we'll go to main and default so let me select the main catalog let me select the default and table so basically uh when you specify it 
right you need to define which catalog which schema you want to use for querying the data or uh, when, when when any user is typing the question which in the background which database is actually going to get used so now you can also see that choose tables to use for answering questions in the space it is best to keep the scope of each space as small as possible and the data access is governed with the viewers of like unity catalog so everything is now on databricks unity catalog right so without unity catalog most of the functionalities are not uh, will not work right eventually so all your tables has to be unity catalog tables and they have to be governed so the access the person who is querying right uh, his access permissions will be defined by the unity catalog permissions so in case you guys have not watched my uc playlist i do recommend watching it in order to understand what exactly it is right and now you can see i have to select the table so right now uh, let's say i select this first table right so this is one table that i have selected can i select the second table yes i can select the second table can i select the third table yes can i select the last table yes so i have added this but now this is little inconvenient because um, in production workspaces you might have n number of tables you know you know going to the drop down and selecting each and every table is mm, not so welcomed and then sample questions so let me uh, ask a sample question give me number of red wines uh give me number of red wines okay i'm just just given a sample question over here right and you can see sample questions will be presented in the chat window for the users to ask the space so this is just a sample question which will be shown once the space is created so now let's click on save so now the moment you click on save your genie space is ready but i don't know how useful it is and how correct answers it is going to give at this moment and you can see the sql warehouse db demos shared endpoint is stopped start the warehouse so i have to start the warehouse right now started it so now you can see uh, if you look over here chats so this is the place where you are and you can see the question is coming up here right this is the name of my space the test that we created this is a description of the space so remember if you have something meaningful it will really look good and then give me the number of red wines explain the data set so this is nothing but uh, you know this is just the question that we have asked and then if you click on the data right these are the tables that i have created within this space right these are the tables that i have added one by one right and then monitoring now if i go to monitoring basically it is going to share me what are the queries what are the questions we have asked in that particular space so similarly you have something called as actions uh, instructions over here so now basically this is nothing but this is general instructions that you can give now this is a kind of a command that you are giving to the genie that okay you can say something like i have these four tables and these four tables relates to the wine data set you know some instructions to the assistant ai assistant so that it will help you give the better results right and you can add sample queries as well over here so i'll go back to the chat over here but remember that uh, when you go to the catalog explorer right so let me click on okay this particular table now remember that this is an ai space right so if you look at this right here there are no comments associated to every column so uh, when even this genie will work in the background okay even then uh, which is using chat gpt 3.5 when it queries the data in the background it doesn't know what the fixed acidity is right with respect to your data set so you can click on ai generate or you can manually you know first generate the ai comments and then you can go ahead and uh, you know uh, first you can generate it and then you can go ahead and check validity of these whether these are accurate or not or you can type in on your own because these will actually help the uh, your ai assistant to understand your query so if i'm saying what is the fixed acidity of a particular wine or, or give the average fixed acidity of red wine then in that case uh, ai assistant will know okay fixed acidity is this column so for that we do need it and i have to switch on my cluster as well which i haven't uh now i had added the cluster so basically let me hide a uh, 
generated comments because until the cluster is up and running it won't allow me to add the ai generated clusters uh, ai generated comments uh, but yeah i also have the serverless over here right i can use it so if i click on ai generate over here do i have an option to select all of this right not really so i have to i think click it one by one uh, let me just click all of them for this particular video now you can see I'm just these are all AI generated comments I'm not validating them right now but you guys can validate it as well and also I can accept this AI suggested comment as well for this particular table so now you can see all of this is there so uh, I can say uh, now I have these comments already here right so now I can go to my genie space and I can say hi let's type in hi first okay and let's see what it is trying to tell us okay hello how i can assist you so now i can say tell me the number of red wine records in baseline table now let's see what does it give us now you can see there is something called as show generated code. Let me check. Oh, it has given us the count 406. Let's see the generated code. What code it has used in the background to give me the result. Okay, select count star from red wine count uh, as red wine count from. Okay, it has used the correct table where wine type is red. So pretty good uh, with this output. Uh, let's click on the bar chart. If you want to visualize it as a bar chart or any other visualization, you can do that. But yeah, remember we need to have these comments, otherwise uh, it will be difficult to get the accurate answer. So now if I go to the drift metrics again, I can go ahead, click on AI generated comments, accept it at the table level at, as well. And let me just select all of them. bit cumbersome I we should have select all option as well somewhere okay I have selected most of them let me click on the second let me take these two as well and let's go to number one again and cross check let me check this one as well so now you have this now um, for the drift okay for the drift metrics let me type in so okay you have got the bar chart let me type in another question tell me the slice let me check what is the exact name slice value tell me distinct slice value in drift table let's see whether does it give the correct answer or not so now it says thinking and you can see show generated code let's see what code it has written okay the slice value is true and false select distinct slice value from this okay the query looks correct and we can check any other select distinct drift types okay show me distinct drift types let's see how does it behave with this okay it has given me correct result baseline and consecutive show generated code which is fine so basically uh, what I have observed is you guys can also go back and try it out but what I have uh, seen you can add a pie chart as well but yeah uh, what I have generally seen over here is it is not that mature if you try to write uh, you know complex queries that it might not give you a very accurate result but for the basic level uh, it is pass right now you can go ahead and check if this works out for you guys as well you can create a room and share the specific tables for a particular room over here like if we go back we have created the whole new room called as test over here right so similarly you can create the room and you can assign specific set of people access to that room and they can go ahead query uh, your tables 
uh, using the you know the text basically they can also get the queries back and they can get the answers as well so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for being till here